Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Neil Scavenger. Alrighty, if you guys didn't catch the end of the last episode, or you didn't catch the last episode in general, shame on you, number one. But number two, you would have seen the, the most MLG play of all time that Falcon's ever kind of committed here. And it came out of pure luck, I'm not entirely sure still how I did it, but apparently I got this, like, instant kill, um, trap? for a dogman that I was fighting, and it basically killed him in one fell swoop. It was fucking amazing. I'm not entirely sure if it has anything to do with... Um, let's see here. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the elusive thing. If you guys remember, we got the elusive thing because we were able to elude capture back in DMC. I'm not sure if that caused it or not, but it seemed like a really, like, you know, grayed out option. Like, the elusive special abilities give you in battle now. So, I'm um, again, I'm not just... I'm kind of spitballing over here. If I'm wrong, please go ahead and correct me, but I've never seen that lethal trap option before, and it was just kind of pretty amazing. So now, let's just try to get some sleep, and hopefully it works out for us this time. Please no dog, man. Please no dog, man. Please no dog... Ombre. Alrighty, perfect. So we're looking pretty good right now. Cold, clear, dusk. Um... Eh. I guess hindsight 2020, I should have probably left that food over there, but I would have been able to eat it. But, you know, it's not like we're hungry or thirsty anymore. We're fine. And now we're well rested. We're only really burdened. But, you know, so be it. Alrighty, so I think we're ready to move on. Even though it's about to hit nighttime pretty soon. Let me just put this flashlight over here. And how are you doing? You're almost out of charges, right? I would I would say so. Thankfully, we do have a backup one. This one's already out, but I'm just holding on to that salad. Alrighty, so let's continue going forward. Where is forward? Well, I guess we gotta check this place out over here. Oh, wait a minute, Falcon. Did you forget something? Oh, I, I totally did. <laughs> Never again, man. Never again. That old Falcon of old leaving stuff behind is something of the yesterday. It doesn't happen anymore, right? I'm pretty sure it's happened again, but still. I try not to make it happen. Abandoned a mobile home. Let's check this out. Boom. Boom. Nothing of value. Of course not, but there is some... Oh, painkillers, you know what? I will definitely take the painkillers, go over here and hang out with the amoxicillin if you don't mind. How are we doing in health? That guy kicked me, but all we did was like got a minor bruise out of it, so I'm not too worried about that. And let's check this out. Oh, we have to end our turn now. Oh! There's a dude here. Alrighty, um, let's um take cover. Barefoot, blind, he's got a sharpened spear. That could be scary. He's revealing himself. Um, I'm not visible, he's visible. So, let's consider this really quickly. We're gonna sneak towards him. I need to find out what he is. Whatever he is, he just booked it right now, so cool. I'll tell you what he is, then. He's just a fucking coward. Shots fired, but Falcon, absolutely, man. You better believe it. Alrighty, so we open this up. Let's use the light source. We'll use trapping just in case and find out what's in here. Absolutely nothing at all. Alrighty, end turn. Need to come back and fight me, dog? Go ahead and try it. Try it, my man. See what happens to you. Alrighty, let's go ahead and turn this on now, and... We're not going to be able to travel for much farther before this gives out on us. So we might even consider using some torches or making even a few more torches. I only have one left. No, I actually have two. That is two. Oh, berries. Sweet. Yeah, I'll take the berries. Why the fuck not? I, I'm considering making uh, an extra torch. Eh, whatever. Let's just get going right now. Because this is about to give out on us right now. So this is already we checked down. Let's continue going, I guess, north now, right? I mean, we do want to fight more dogmen for the fur coat. I mean, there's only so much I can carry, though. Right now, I have, like, what, 221 or something saved up over here? 224 that we could sell off for a little bit extra money. If I get another dogman, I don't think I'll be able to carry it, though. That's the only downside here. I need a bigger vehicle, unfortunately. Which, you know, it's going to be kind of harder to find than anything else, but... So be it. 88.4... I mean, I could also go back and sell some meat. I mean, that's easy money right there, too. Uh, how far is ATN from here? It's not too far, honestly, but I'm just lazy. <laughs> I'm just lazy, let's be honest here. This is out of charges now. So you come over here with the no charge club. Wait a minute, you do have a charge. What the hell am I reading at here? On. Insufficient charges, okay. That's what happened there. So, yeah, you might as well just remain off then. You're off, and let's use this bad boy over here. And let's turn you on. Okay. And let's go upward. Okay. There's somebody here for sure. You know how I know? It's not just me freaking out, because when I jumped in here, I'm not sure if you noticed, there was like a little small fraction of a second where there was like um, footprints. Unless they were mine, but I really doubt that's the case. So let's search around. Ah, I guess I'm tripping balls. Unless that person that was there just booked it. That could be the case. Um, let's find out what's in this destroyed building, though. Bam. Mechanic. We'll use a little bit of light source in here. Found a first aid kit. What does this have? Absolutely nothing at all. 
And I might as well trade these. Up to 20 now, perfect. And that's about it. Yes. Okay. What do you have? Excuse me, get over here. I'm not trying to destroy you. I, can you destroy a fucking apartment building? I never tried that before. I never really bothered, like, you know, right-clicking on it. It's kind of weird. And we lose the mechanic just in case, and nothing over here. Let's try this out. It gave me an option to fucking destroy this thing. Or take a drop, I got you. I guess I misread it there. Boom. Apparently I'm like the juggernaut of the wasteland over here. I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Let's destroy this building! Uh, nothing really of value. Okay. So that's about it for here. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Where are we looking at the map here? We're about to hit the coast over here, assuming there is a coast. Um, go up again. Go up again. Get knocked down, I get up again, and I go up again. I ain't never gonna bring me down, I get knocked down. I get up again. Okay. <laughs> I, I love every now and then when I, I, I will fucking bring one of these songs from the 90s that were like hits that I grew up with because there was a fad and stuff. And I'll bring it up in a video and somebody's just like, you know, Falcon, were you really singing that? I was like, yeah. It's like, Jesus, man, how old are you? I'm like, I'm quite old, man. You don't understand. Well, I'm not that old, but... I, you know, I, I feel weird talking about the age thing. I mean, I'm not really, technically, I'm not. You know, I, I overblow it out of proportion because this is what I do. But, um, it's funny because I've gotten comments before where people are like, you know, Falcon, I'm older than you, stop making me feel like a like a ancient person because you're being an asshole. And I'm like, alright, you're right, I'm sorry. But the only reason I mentioned just being old is because I feel like I'm... Older than the average, probably, viewer. Although, um, that's probably not true. Because, um, oddly enough, like, looking at my analytics on YouTube, and by, I'm talking about, like, the whole YouTube side of things where I look at my views and, you know, things like that. Um, but with YouTube, it lets you track down, like, your analytics, like, pretty, pretty concise. There's, like, a pretty good, um, I guess, like, radius, or not really radius, but I guess more of a really specific thing like YouTube lets you if you're making videos and you're like checking out your views and your content and your demographics it lets you track demographics like age sex and whatnot and things of that nature and let's uh, and by sex yeah I'm talking about sexy time I'm actually not talking about sexy time I haven't had sexy time in a long time because I'm a very lonely man but oh I should turn this off too by the way excuse me before we even do anything over here can we just um oh well I'm in it now Maybe before I end my turn, if I could turn it off, I won't lose any more charges. We'll see. But, um, YouTube lets me track that stuff down, right? And oddly enough, I mean, I actually have a pretty high demographic in terms of age. Like, I think the average, my majority of viewers seems to be like, you know, 18, 20, 24 and up. And, um, I just find it surprising because, uh, well, I mean, it's not too surprising, I guess, because I don't... I know there's a lot of young viewers out there, too. Like, I know for a fact, like, some people have, like, you know, some in comments that I read from you guys. Like, you know, I get the feeling that some people are either young or they'll let me know, like, you know, I'm, you know, relatively young. I have no idea what you just said or what you're referencing, you fucking grandfather. <laughs> in, you know, more or less words, right? But, let's see here. But, um... It's just interesting because like, I guess I don't really have content that really. I don't. I don't feel like I don't want to say it like in a bad way, right? But I don't. I feel like I don't have. I don't make content that kind of panders to younger audience. You know, like I'm not. You know, face camming and screaming on camera and like you know, saying goofy jokes. Yes, I have a really immature side. I, I will admit. Obviously, I mean most of you are probably aware, but. I guess if this doesn't go overboard, you know, where, like, I'm just doing it constantly, like, every little fucking second that I get the chance. I mean, yeah, wood is a, um, recurring theme, but we could, well, we could all thank, um, RimWorld for that one. And, you know, a lot of other building games and, you know, again, my immature side, but I guess I don't really allow it to overtake the channel too much or too much of the videos. It's just basically around that. So I guess because of that, I have a little bit of a higher, I guess, or a older demographic involved because of that in terms of, like, you know, older audience. But again... If you're a younger viewer, too, I do appreciate you um, enjoying the content and things of that nature. So, I mean, I just wanted to share with you guys, like, what it seems that my analytics seems to kind of levitate towards. You know, like, kind of a little bit of an older audience, but, you know, what am I even talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> I think I just fucking went from one... This is a complete tangent. I'm not even sure what I was talking about even led to this, but, you know, there you go. Falcon in a nutshell. 
No, this is me in a nutshell. How did I get in this nutshell? Who makes a nut this big? Austin Powers? Yeah. Okay, I know what we're talking about now. We were talking about I get knocked out and I get up again. That's what we were talking about. I have no idea how that led to this fucking conversation now that I mention it, but so be it. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, it's always something new in the videos, right? Always something new. Oh, hey, speaking of something new in the videos. You want to fight? Huh? You want to fucking fight? Come at me. Try it. Yeah. Yeah, I would second guess with that fucking mole bowl cut that you have over here. What are you, like, part of the Three Stooges now? DMC Stooge over here. Hey, Mo. Um, uh, we're doing pretty good in terms of, uh, well-rested. I mean, we're gonna get tired kind of soon, but it's bound to happen. We're about to hit the coast up here pretty soon. Have I been... I've never been all the way up north to this, um, to the west side. I've been north all the way on the east side in one of my older, older, older Let's Plays where, um, of Neo Scavenger where... I was kind of like souped up like a fucking demigod and I was just wrecking dogmen left and right. That was a really fun playthrough. <laughs> it was amazing just wrecking those dogmen over and over. Like I'm talking about like I think I was like at some point fighting like two or three dogmen at once and I think I would kill one, maybe two, and then just book it after the third one because at that point it'd be kind of a little bit dangerous. But that was a really fun playthrough. Send my turn over here. I am burdened, well rested, but we're still moving at a pretty good pace. Let's find out what's in this um, destroyed complex over here. Use this, that, we use the mechanic skill because we don't get injured. And not much. You know, I, I'm disappointed. I figured that the further up to the north that we are, we should be finding better things just because of the fact that this is still Dogman country, so you shouldn't... You know, a lot of scavengers don't necessarily come up here, so I'm a little disappointed. I mean, we fucking got a... I don't know, Christina Aguilera DVD over here, probably. Xtina all up in this shit. But um, we're not finding really some good stuff for me to survive. I mean, not to knock the Christina... You know, Aguilera DVD. If I had a DVD player, we'd be watching that shit right now in the wasteland. You know, Genie in a Bottle. I think I had one extra turn. I'm not sure why I didn't move. I guess I was thinking about uh, Genie in the Bottle. If you wanna be with me. Whatever. Alrighty, nothing over here, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna continue going down this way for sure. I'm just worried about where we're headed to. I have no idea where we're headed to. I'm starting to sweat, apparently. That's no good. Come on, dog. Don't be don't be sweating. Just relax. Yeah, like overactive, um... Skin pores? Would that be it? Sweat glands? I think that's probably a little bit better. Overactive sweat glands. I'm, the outdoor temperature is actually pretty hot. Uh, let's find out what's in the shack here, number one. There seems to be some pretty good stuff in here, possibly. And... Oh, yeah. Loot completely filled? All I get is a fucking rag. Ah, this game loves to troll, doesn't it? Alrighty, so we're thirsty, tired, burden. Outdoor temperature's a little bit hot right now. Well, I guess we could probably... mitigate that a little bit by... fucking sash all the time. Let's remove this. No, don't remove your pants. Leave your pants on, you pervert. Maybe if remove that right now? Put this on? Okay. Let's, um, I don't think I have room for this, though. I don't. Oh, come on, man. I guess if I do it here. You know what? $16 to carry this shit around is not even worth it, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess I put it in my hand, meanwhile. I could have put the coat in my hand, too. That would have probably been smarter, to be honest, but... Yeah, okay. I'll put you in my hand, code. How do you guys feel about carrying coats in your hands, by the way? Like... I, I hate doing that. Like, say you go out and it's like kind of chilly in the day, and you take a coat, right? And it gets hot, and you're like, you know, walking or something, and you want to take it off. It, it's annoying. I, I hate having to carry a fucking coat around. Like, at that point, it's just kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to sit here. Oh, I'm not going to sit here. I'm obviously in the fucking street. I'm not a hobo. I'm going to continue walking here, but I'm going to just sweat it out. It's my prerogative. You know, it's my, I guess in a way, fault for not... Like, it's not really my fault. I mean, I don't control the weather. I'm not Storm from the X-Men, but... We'll check this out right here. Oh, some, some more chips. Another Twinkie. Nothing wrong with the Twinkies, man. Can I stack the Twinkies? I can't stack the Twinkie. Um, how's our meat happening over here? Oh, it's looking pretty good still. Let's actually eat the Twinkie. Twinkie away, and we'll probably even eat some of these berries. You know what? I just realized we haven't replenished our water. But on back to the subject at hand here... <laughs> I like how I make it like this really fucking important thing. Oh, by the way, we're talking about something really important right now. What were we talking about? Oh, sweating away. No, but um, that's my that's my thing, though. If you go out and you're wearing a coat and it gets hot, 
I hate having to take it off and carry it by hand or something. I just honestly, I'll tell you the truth with you, I would just sweat it out. I'll just be like, fuck it. I'll keep walking. I'll be totally uncomfortable. But I hate having to take that coat off and then fucking like hold it. It's just so annoying. Hey, how you doing there, dear man? You want to come over here and hang out? I might have a lethal trap for you too. You never know. You never know what I'm up to nowadays. Ever since like, I was got the elusive thing from DMC. Um, we're gonna have to find a source for water pretty soon and probably even rest soon, it seems, because um, we're getting tired again. We're finding a lot of food up here, I mean, if that's any sort of um, compensation. There's some crackers over here, too. Nothing amazing in terms of food, but we're finding like regular day-to-day -day food. Twinkies always survive everything anyway, so it would could, it kind of would make sense. And let's find out what's in the destroyed office building. Bam, bam, bam. And that was completely dog shit. Okay. So, water source. I only see something over here. I don't want to backtrack, though. That's the thing. So, I'm just going to try to, hopefully, luck out this way. End my turn. What's going on with this deer? He's just hanging out over here. Like, he's just not even respecting my... My approach of his... Oh, am I at the map? I'm at the edge, I think. I can't seem to go up anymore from here. At least the map doesn't move up anymore. What the fuck is going on? Is my W key broken now? Not sure. I think that might be the edge, though. Storage shed. Bam, bam. I guess we're not too thirsty just yet, but we're more tired than anything. Nothing of value. And... I guess we'll probably just sleep here if we can. Maybe use the IT building that's in the area. We'll see. Um, I don't need a mechanic for this one, I don't think. What do we have here? Cell phone, $15 for two slots. Sure, why not? We'll take that. Make this trip worth it, I guess. And my turn over here. <laughs> What's going on with this dear congregation? They refuse to, like, you know, completely leave, too. I think that might be the edge of the map for them. So they're kind of trying to run away from, like, off the world, but, you know, it's just not working for them. There's probably, like, a DMC border patrol or something. And we got some sandals, and, uh, hey, well, this one has charges. Can't go wrong with that. Sure, we'll put you over here for now. Fucking carrying all the flashlights in the world over here. I'm like some sort of broken down security guard. What are you kids doing over there? Uh, nothing, officer. Yeah. Oh, it's like, you're not an officer, you're a security guard. Get out of here, you don't tell me what to do. Oh, my lord. <laughs> totally worth it already. Okay. Um, so here's what we do. We, um, well, we, we gotta take this with us, right? 849, 67, two charges, two charges. Why does this one cost more? Oh, the condition. Condition's a lot better. Um, yeah, I say we say fuck you to these things at this point, and we carry that. We don't have to get rid of this, though. Or I guess we can. I'd rather hold on to the rags, to be honest with you. So fuck those binoculars, I don't even need them. Um, $16 isn't really gonna make or break me at this point. You know what's gonna make or break me at this point? $849. Now that's going to be pretty good. Alright. Anything else to check out over here? It doesn't seem that way. We are pretty much at the end of the map, I'm pretty sure. Um, can I go up? No. It's not the end of the map. Oh, okay. This is the end. I get you. I get you. I need water, though. <laughs> I'm going to need water. Well, I guess I could drink my water and then replenish. Oh, there we go. Water. Perfect. Um, we're gonna need some fire to purify that, though, so I guess we'll just pick up the water and come back to this forest and purify it there. I guess that'll work out. We'll scavenge about over here. I'm, I'm lack- I'm, I'm so happy we found that, uh, med kit, though. That's fucking gonna make a lot of money for us. Uh, nothing of value, no surprise. Try this one out. Bam, bam, mechanic, and nothing of value. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Come on. Tell me I can't find more things here. I would love to just find a, uh, a chopping cart at this point. That would completely make this run. I mean, I've been lucky enough, so I can't really whine about it too much, but come on, it'd be amazing if we did, right? Nothing. Alrighty. Let's, um, jump over here. We're gonna gather... Oh, this is it, right? I'm not consumed to you going that way. We're basically at the edge, though, right? No, no, we could continue going to the west a bit more. I guess we probably will, just for the hell of it. But let me come over here. I'm parched now completely, so let's drink some water. And take care of that. No, don't destroy water. Drink water. We don't destroy it right now. And tan and tea. Okay, so we're completely out of water now. Luckily, we're sated. Uh, let's use this bad boy over here. One, two, three, four... 
five, and six. Excellent. Alrighty, so that's completely done over here. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably call an episode here. I'm going to jump into this forest. I'm going to purify the water off camera because nobody wants to see that shit anyway. I'll purify the water and we'll continue going west next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. And again, remember, Falcon is a genie in a bottle, apparently. I will catch you next time.